What's up, guys? This is a business reading for a Scorpio with a business or business idea. This is just, um, I like to do spiritual intuitive messages and give spiritual and intuitive messages for people in their businesses. You know, you, you have the option to get readings for your um, personal life, but why not use it to be successful in business? And so that's the purpose of this reading is to give you insight into maybe how you can reach new levels of success in your business or solve problems in your business. Goodness. Okay, this is whew, a lot more than what I wanted to get. But I'll take it. Two sevens. Seven, seven. What is that? Spiritual completion. That's the number of God's grace. A seven, seven is 14. One plus four is five. So... What do we have here? Oh, let me put Oracle cards too for your to go at your reading. Scorpio for your business. So far we have the three of pentacles. We have the two of cups. We have the tower. We have the knight of wands, king of wands. We have the seven of cups, the seven of wands, seven, seven, and the page of wands. Interesting. That's five twice because seven plus seven is 14, one plus four is five, and three plus two equals five, which is 10, the number of order of completion of law victim. Interesting. Okay, so let me get a feel for this reading. The bottom of the deck is page of wands, which is usually talking about inaction or not taking action or the proper action, or just being all talk. Um, but knights are all about actions. And you've got the knight of wands, and you have the page of wands, so it might be time for you, something is going to change, and it's going to open the door for you to take action in your business. Anyway, let me get a feel for what this message is for you, and I'll be right back. As I do that, please watch this video um, that i like to show you about a service that I provide for business owners, and those trying to manifest something. Be right back. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car, if you want to manifest more money, if you want to manifest more life, a divine partner, a baby, whatever it is that you are yearning for, allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals. I'm looking for 33 people to help. And if you feel like you're one of those 33 people, hit the link below. Thank you. Good luck and peace. of Scorpio and back so just a quick note before we before I read your before I read this um, first of all it's a lot of passion in this reading so this is something that you're very extremely passionate about you have the page of wands which is a lot of passion you have the tower a lot of lot 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 lots and lots of passion knight of wands lots of passion king of wands lots of passion seven of wands more passion so this is a business that you're very, this is just telling me you're very passionate about this business and you're ready to put the energy into it and you're ready to take action. You're filled up with inspiration and passion for this business and you're ready to put yourself out there. But with the bottom of the deck being energy being the page of wands, you need to relax. This is saying relax and plan first. Before you take action, you need a solid plan first. Before you put yourself out there and crash or, you know, before it's th you turn into this, plan first. Secondly, I want to read your oracle card. And I'm going to read them verbatim. It says victim, but, you know, you have to ignore that. To grow into a tree, a planted acorn must be fully brown. A green acorn is an indication that you may need grounding and a more solid plan to achieve what you truly desire. Are you trying to create something before you are ready to do so? 
again, <laughs> that's why I told you to calm down. It's a lot of passion in this reading. And I get being very passionate about a business or business idea. But the first step is a solid plan. Then third, what I also notice in your reading is this two sevens. This three and this two, which is five. And then this seven and this seven, which is, um, you cannot. And the tower is 15. You have a lot of fives in this reading. And the reason why I say that is because, I mean, you do. And that's just a number for that one thing that takes you over to beat the giant. So this is the key for you beating some whatever giant is in your way. This is the fifth stone, if you may. You know they say they, you know Goliath. David used the fifth stone to beat Goliath. This is your fifth stone. This is God's grace. This is what's going to get you to the next level. But you have to plan first. It's good to have passion and energy towards the things that you love and your business, of course. But you need to get that solid plan first. And it's saying with the three of Pentacles being your first card, get the advice, seek wise counsel, but also seek the advice of a novice and come together and create a plan that's synergetic, that will create synergetic and cohesive results for all. But come together with people who are in the field already and people who are new to the field as well as you and come together and create a plan that's best for your business. Yeah, this is just coming together with shared visions. Coming together and creating a plan instead of just immediately taking action. This is coming together and creating a plan with novices, with people who are wise, who've been in the business. This is so that you may reach another level of success, so that you can reach transformation, so that you can reach um, a powerful change in your business that's beneficial to you. Then you have, once you have your plan together, once you have um, come together and you, you sought advice, you sought wise counsel and counsel from a diverse amount of people or a number, not a number, but, you know, a variety of people uh, with levels of knowledge as it pertains to your business, then you take passionate, inspired action. Instead of just taking foolish action or impulsive action, you take inspired action so that you can use your passion and your energy for something productive instead of something that's just going to wear out or something that's not inspired or planned or strategic. You take strategic inspired action. Doing so puts you in a position to be a great leader, but also creates long-term success. Um, the King of Wands is a natural born leader, pure energy with grand visions, long-term success, creativity, and things of that sort. It puts you in a position to be a great leader. It puts you in a position to create long-term success uh, for your business. Plans, man, people people don't plan properly sometimes in their business, and it is really essential. Even, you know, I can't even, sometimes I do it as well, but you have to put the necessary energy in to plan for your business. With the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands, I don't want to really look into these cards. I'm not feeling the energy of these cards. Seven of Wands is about standing for what you believe in, which is awesome. Of course, you're going to stand up for your business and fight for what you believe in in your business. And the Seven of Cups is usually about delusion of being things not appearing what they seem. But this is not what I'm getting from that. What I'm getting from these two cards is the number five, which is the number of God's grace, or which is the number that will get you to the next level and overcome the mountains. So use this passion to your advantage. By creating a plan, a strategic plan that would help you overcome obstacles along the way and help you to reach long-term success for your business. So if you get anything from this reading, it is plan. Stop what you're doing, calm down, and create a strategic plan that will help you reach the level of success that you're trying to reach in your business. I hope this helps. If you would like a personal reading, click the link in my description and I would love to do one for your business. Or for you personally, you know, I, I, I like to focus on business readings, but I will also do one for you personally as well, Scorpio. So anyway, take a look at my description. Thanks. I wish you love and light in your business. Peace.